Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.net. So this is a free CCNA exam booster video. It's basically talking you through how to answer IP addressing questions in the exam. If you come to HowToNetwork.net, you can actually have the exam absolutely free. It's part of the CCNA in 60 days training program. Some people ask me how much it costs. Well, it tells you underneath there it's free. Um, there are links every day, basically here's all the goodies, tells you what you get. There are some links on every email you get, basically back to the site. The reason is a lot of people who use this program are members of the site. But you don't have to join and like I said it is free. So you just pop in your name there and your email there and then I will email you um, lots of tips and free exams and goodies to help you through your CCNA. But the reason why I mention that is we're going to go through some exam type questions and they're all based on the mini IP addressing exam which comes as part of your CCNA in 60 days free pack. So we're going to go back to that in a minute. I'm just think the first thing I'd like to show you is how to write out your subnet addressing chart for the exam. So I'm not going to explain binary math here because we don't have time. But basically to in the exam you get a sheet of paper and in the top right hand corner you just write the number 1. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger, sorry. You can write the number 1 and then we double it to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. This is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 binary places. So it's an octet. Over here we'll write our subnet values which are 128 and then we add 64 to that to get 192. We add 32 to that to get 224. We add 16 to that to get 240. Add 8 to that two four eight add four to that to get two five two add two to that to get two five four and then we add one to that to get two five five now hopefully all these numbers here will look familiar because they're every possible value you could have in your subnet octets as part of your um, subnet so this is the upper part of the chart the lower part of the chart is basically powers of 2. So we start off with the number 2. So this is for design. The bottom part, the upper part is for IP addressing. Uh, the bottom part is for design. Doesn't matter if this doesn't make sense because we're going to actually show you how to apply it. So 2, um, we keep doubling it. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on and so forth. I'm going to put two rows here. These are your sub. Whoops. These are your subnet, and these are your hosts on the subnet. Whenever we calculate hosts on for a subnet, we have to take two away. One for the subnet and one for the broadcast on the subnet. Now, my writing obviously looks like a spider's lost a leg and crawled through a pot of ink across your page. So what we'll be using is my nice one I did earlier. Exactly the same chart across here, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Same subnets and the same powers of two down here. But it just looks a lot neater and I'm, I'm sure you'll appreciate being able to read what we're doing. So this is the uh, introduction. Now let's imagine you're sitting in the exam and your IP addressing questions appear. And the first question they ask you is IP address 192.168.100.114.29 29 is in which subnet? So basically you need to write out the IP address that this belongs to. The key here is the slash 29. So basically we know we're doing some VLSM, we're doing some subnetting on a standard class C network. And we need to work out what's going on with a slash 29. So we had a slash 29, in fact let's write the whole thing out here. 192.168.100.114.29 
Slash 29. Okay, so the slash 29 basically means we're doing some subnetting here. If we took 255, that's 8 binary bits. This is our subnet mass. If we add another 255 altogether, now this is 16 binary bits. If we add another 255, we get 24 binary bits. 24 plus what? It's a question mark, equals 29. Well, 24 plus 5, my mathematics is awful, but I, I know that much. 24 plus 5 will give you 29. So now we go back to our subnetting charts, and you're allowed to draw on your little board if, you, if you're in the exam. So we basically stole 5 bits, didn't we? So what we're going to do is go down to our little subnet in cheat chart and tick down five places three four five so now we know our subnet mask is two four eight so two four eight is our subnet now we've stolen five bits so I'm gonna jump around windows apologies We've stolen five bits, so if you ever tick down five or whichever number, you always tick along the top the same amount. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever number you get here will tell you what, what increments your subnet is, go, is going up in. And our subnet is going up in increments of eight. Back to the last window again. So we are basically subnetting on this last octet here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the subnet that we're, this is the octet that we're doing our subnetting on. We know we're counting up in increments of eight. So all we need to do, you could write down 192.168.100. You're always allowed to start off at zero with subnetting. Let's just deal with this last octet here. 0, 8, and we keep adding up in the increments that we ticked along to until we get to the subnet that this host is in. Now I know, you haven't got much time in the exam, so I know if we keep go counting up in increments of 8, we'll get to 80. Now hopefully you agree with me that far, even my limited amount of maths is going to tell me this much. And then I'll just keep adding 8. 88. 96 and we're looking to get to 114 uh, add 8 to that 104 we add 8 to that 112 and we add 8 to that 120 so basically we have our uh, we have our answer here 112 is the subnet 113 would be the first host on the subnet if you wanted to work out the broadcast, and we're not being asked to do that, you always jump to the next one, the next subnet, and take one away. So 119 would be our broadcast. I'll put a B there. And if you want to know your last host, you just take one away. So basically, the answer to the question is uh, host 192.168.100.14 slash 29 is in, I'll just pick a different colour here, is in the subnet 192.168.100.112 and we're correct click on to the next question please feel free